What's up guys? Time for a new video. This is the uh What's up guys? Time for a new video. We're going to be trying to jailbreak today without a TI-84. This is a uh microcontroller. It is the ATA VRX plane. It is supposed to have an AT90 USB uh chip in it and allow it to work just like any of the other chips. I paid $30 from this. I can't remember the site I got it from. I will try to find it and I'll post it in the description later. Uh, right now we've got the device plugged up. You want to, they, It comes with jumpers on uh, each of the four corners. You want to remove all those and you just want it right here on this last set of pins. Uh, when you plug it up it will show in the device manager as X-Plane USB Gateway. Uh, we don't want it to be that. We want it to show up as a AT90 USB 128 DFU uh, and to do that we have to put it into programming mode and it's kind of tricky. Uh, I'm going to set the phone down and that worked. Alright, cutting the videos because I've been messing with this for like 30 minutes. Uh, the reason I couldn't get it to work is it will not work in Windows 7 64 bit. I don't even, it, it may or may not work in 32 bit but in mine 64 bit it won't work. So what I had to do is create a virtual Windows XP machine inside of Windows 7. Microsoft has that for free if you have a uh, higher edition of Windows. Right now what I'm doing is installing the flip software in the XP machine and start manager all right I got to it uh, you wanna don't search I will choose the driver to install it'll bring you to this screen hit half disk browse you do have to have this program installed in the 64-bit version of 7 or you won't be able to use it you have to do the jumper across the three pins after it's plugged into XP mode uh, if you can't tell I'm a little aggravated but I've also only had like four hours of sleep we're gonna attach that again I'm going to back out of all this crap. Cancel, cancel. No, not this time. Next. Install from a specific location. Don't search. I will choose the driver to install. Show all these devices. I have the disk. You know where that's at? That is right there. Okay. That's exactly what I want to install. Bam, it's installed. It installed the software. Hip, hip, hooray. Flip 3.42. Select a target device. AT90 USB 1287 should be. Let's take a look at the guide. Yep, that's it. 1287. Okay. USB. Open. It actually opened it. File, load hex file. I just put it in the C drive, easy to get to. And guess what? It's not there. Yes, it is. For some reason, XP machine can't see it, so we're going to move it over to my D drive. Continue. X, X. <sighs> D drive. Hey, looky there. There it is. Alright, after the file is loaded, after you hit file open, and it's got the hex file right here, we're going to hit run. Now, should be able to unplug this. Should be able to remove the jumper right there. It's been removed. Should be able to go over here. Goodbye, trusty calculator that made it so easy to do this instead of having to do this crap. But I just want to see if it works. By the way, this board's going to be for sale in like 10 minutes. So, if anybody wants it, make me an offer.
Turn the TV on. Cycle of power. It is unplugged. It is plugged up. Waiting on the TV. Come on, TV. We're going to turn the PS3 on. We're going to hit the eject button immediately. It looks for USB devices. We have lights running down the side. We have yellow LED at the bottom. Just turned green. That should indicate that it's working. And I look for my controller. And it is nowhere to be found naturally. Ah! Back at the computer desk. An error has occurred. I've been signed out of network because they took it away. And look, there's the install package files option. So cool. That works. Let's see if it'll let me go in this folder. Nope. Just like the T84. So it does the exact same thing. Amazing. Boards for sale. Somebody make me an offer. 40 bucks sounds good. Bid war. Later.